Enter a name for your custom class. Well, I mean, we're doing a YouTube series. The character's called Like and Subscribe. So my custom class has got to be YouTuber, right? Create the YouTuber class. Yes, we will create the YouTuber class. Perfect. We're going to be a YouTuber. Are you sure you want to be a YouTuber? You know, Bethesda, some days I ask myself the same thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. Really? I've got to ask that, Jesus. Oh, it always feels like I've planned that out, but I didn't. <laughs>if that wasn't some mid-2000s cutscene graphics, nothing is. Wow, I forgot how bad a frame rate like that is. You just It felt so smooth at the time, it felt so good, and now it just looks kind of like dog dirt. Hello, welcome to the series. We have started here, we, we got involved with Skyrim last year, and it's just been... It's, it's made a, a niche that I needed to scratch, and that was to head back to the wonderful world of Cyrodiil in Tamriel, and to the Plains of Oblivion. So we have got our character. I've already gone ahead and set him up. We're an Argonian this time around, and I've gone with the, you know, the, the proper name and convention. If you are ooh, born in the Black Marsh and of the Hist, then you can go with names like Gallum I and Jar something or other, but not if you were born in Tamriel and are not of the Hist, in, the, in which case you go with your aspirations or something that your particular person is known for or likes to do. So, in order to get around the whole begging people for likes and subscribes, we've just called our Argonian, like and subscribe. There we go. Now I don't have to pest you for it in the videos, you don't have to worry about it. Yes, it's gimmicky. But you know what? Our Khajiidi is called Steve Rogers, so that's just as gimmicky, okay? <laughs> it's it's on brand. It's what I do. Now, we did have plans to play this at the highest difficulty, but caveat, the I've been looking into it, and the difficulty is really on melee combat. It doesn't seem to adjust to magic very well, so we're keeping it in the mid-tier for now, and as we improve and get better with the game, hopefully the difficulty will go up as well to match that. I don't want to be going straight into it. I did a little bit of test playing. Forgot we needed repair hammers. 
and that does change combat quite significantly. But let's carry on for now. Let's get this started, shall we? So yeah, the, the Ripper, Hammers, and all that kind of razzmatazz. Really, something I completely forgot about. I've forgotten about it completely. However, we're here. Hey, lizard. We've got it this asshole. Break your heart, huh? Being so close to the water, knowing God, you'll never I love get the voice acting. The elf voice is just you know, so iconic. I really hope they, the they bring that back in future games as well. The sounds from the lake, the boats, the gulls, the gulls. So, so close. Ah, I love it. No, and everyone looks like potatoes as well. It's it's <laughs> it's it's but definitely you, you can tell it's a different cre uh, different engine than uh, uh, than Skyrim, I guess. It's uh, it, it looks very different. Now you may notice. The guards are coming. Oh, the For guards you. are coming. I, I will want to. I do want to review. Sort of go through something here. We are using the script extender for Oblivion OBSC. We are using Northern UI for a sort of Skyrim-based UI, which is good. I think we've got Sky BSE as well, which just kind of makes the script extender read the right files. And the, it, it's basically the I want to say anniversary edition of the game, but I can't remember if that's what it's called or not. But the, the, the one that's got all the DLC. So we've got the Shivering Isles, all that kind of stuff. We have also installed the unofficial patches, as it does seem to improve the frame rate and the play style just a little bit, because I was finding it was quite choppy, which it shouldn't be on my computer for a game this old. So fingers crossed, all being well, we are all good now. I've done quite a bit of extensive testing. We're talking hours upon hours of just running around recording to see if this actually works as planned and it seems to be pretty good so now we're going to get into the play for real uh now also i forgot how leveling works in here i know there's something to do with major and minor skills i i probably need to read up on it a bit more but i'm going to try not to level too much on the major skills and focus on minor skills because I think if you focus on the minor skills and then the major skills you get What's full doing here? skill point to be off limits. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> I'm sure people will tell me exactly what I need to know because if you've watched any of these playthroughs already with Skyrim stuff or even the Minecraft stuff I'm an idiot I know it I know I'm in I accept it Ooh. yes he knows it too let Hello. me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. I've got to admit, I do like this user interface so much more than the Oblivion one. The Oblivion one, it, it's got its perks, it's got its little, it's, it's got its qualities, but I guess from playing Skyrim for so long now, like it, it feels weird not having this UI. So yeah, what's going on, Emperor Uriel Septum? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Lucky me. Why am I in jail? <laughs> Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. Yeah, yeah. As for what it's you the gods. have done, not not the, the rampant matter. theft. That <laughs> is not what you will be remembered Not for. that. So, who exactly are you, Emperor Uriel Septim? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. Hashtag not my the emperor. Gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. Down with the royalty. You are a citizen of Tamriel, <laughs> and you too shall serve her in your own way. Cool, so I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Yeah. Please, sire, we must well, persuade that that we could do. Huh. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. Oh, it's nice to be back. What I have noticed is I think that the this edition, they've upped the graphics quite a bit. It's similar to what they did in Skyrim. It feels a lot... It, it feels a lot more like I remember Skyrim being back in 2011. Not a bad thing, to be honest. Not a bad thing at all. Is there anything we can loot up here? No. 
yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to get used to the systems again. Like I said, we've done a little bit of a playthrough. Combat was definitely something new, something different. Yeah, it's running a lot smoother now. I was very worried when we were getting really laggy combat that we would be struggling for quite a bit. Take some Mythic Dawn stuff, why not? Potions? No. Captain Reno. You've got a potion. You have a potion? You do have a potion. And we can grab our first weapon. Steel short sword and where is your katana? Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sire. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's go. Oh jeez, we balls that up. Stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. There is a little bit of weirdness with the controller stuff, but I kind of need it. <laughs> I, I've tried playing these games on keyboard and mouse. One, my keyboard is very loud, uh, but also with my sort of like health issues that I have, controller, honestly better. Better for me. It doesn't work on every game, but I'll accept it for what it is. Right. Now hopefully I've got it at a decent difficulty. Hopefully I've got it so the volumes are all good as well. There's always that sort of adjustment period as you start to work through everything. Rusty Iron War Axe, let's grab that. I think the Rusty Gear is actually unique as well, isn't it? A plate? Why don't I grab that? That's very silly of me. Let's put that back. Iron Arrows, take a dagger, some rough leather boots, cuirass, lockpick, torch. Perfect, all good stuff. Got that. We've got a bow the old lockpick system, which I kind of miss. Like, because this is a lot more like lockpicking in reality, I do enjoy it. it. It's fun. Gold sapphire. Let's get our bow out. I'll do as the tutorial has asked. Oh, we got a rat friend to shoot. Ooh, we missed. Oh jeez. Should probably put some armor on too. There we go. Right. So it asked us to do this. Boink. Hooray! <laughs> I I've got to admit, I think last time I played this was back on Xbox 360, at least 12, 13 years ago now. I think I played it when it came out for a year or two and then that was it. That was that's all I you know what we should do as well? Oops. Set these spells as well. So we can actually just switch between them. I do like that you can have a bow and spells at the same time. That is something that Skyrim does not have. But yeah, I I, I just there's aspects of this game which I feel would have been really good in Skyrim, and aspects of Skyrim which would have been really good in Oblivion. But you know what, you, you, you're always going to get the rough and the smooth with every single game that you play, so we'll take it as it is. Let's leave the key because we can just try and break it. There we go. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into this and see what else we can kind of do here. Um, it's probably going to take a wee while for us to get the the whole system kind of sorted in our heads on how we do everything. Where is our music? Is what I want to know. Music's right down. Let's turn the music up a little bit because the music is a big part of this. There we go. Now we can hear it. Right. Can I just swipe this on the head? Yeah. You know what, we should get our armor. We'll get a shield too, why not? Probably good to have a shield, right? Ooh, can we equip it straight from here? I don't think we can. I'm fine with that though. Let's go ahead and put the heavy armor stuff on. Give ourselves a little bit more protection. Uh, we want healing, is what we want. There we go. So yeah, fun, fun series, looking forward to it. 
it's going to be interesting to see how we get on with the playstyle. And I think already I'm kind of looking at this and going, mm, it's not too bad as far as like combat, other than like it's a slog. We might even be able to turn the difficulty up before the end of the episode. I plan on releasing these episodes twice a week, but it really depends on how my health holds up and also the usual stuff. Work, real life, all that kind of razzmatazz. Because if I don't have a good work-life balance, it's, it's I'm going to burn out. It's not good. It's not good. But yeah, I'm really actually quite happily surprised at uh, how nice this is looking. Now the only downside at the moment I've noticed is when I'm recording it's a little bit dark even though the brightness in game is turned up quite high. So that might be to do with the recording software. It might, I've never noticed it on any other game. It's quite often the opposite effect. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Ow. My health's not that low. As long as it's enough of a challenge, I just don't want it to be too easy. So there's obviously going to be a little bit of adjustment, a, a, a josh, ra, 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 adjustment period <laughs> as we try and work it all out. Cool. But yeah, the idea of this episode is to at least get through the tutorial. You know what we can do? We could probably make a new use of the weight mechanic, right? Because that doesn't that reset your health. Stamina and all that kind of raspberries. Let's find out. It does. Perfect. So that will save us leveling certain skills. Uh, we do want to kind of until we figure out how leveling works properly. I think you've got to go like 10, 20, 20 skill points in any minor skills and ten in your major skills. And depending on like where you've got your major major skills set, that's what kind of puts up what your strength, your vitality, all that kind of stuff. Oh wow, your magic is so overpowered. Even on the highest difficulty, like the, the fire spell was pretty much, I won't say one shotting, but it was it was, you know, one or two shots. Do I want the Warhammer? Eh, not really. I'll take the shield though. Take some cheese, got a lot of cheese. Tomatoes, helmet, taking that. Cheese again. Right, let's go ahead and put the what's the iron shield on. Do I want the Warhammer? No, I like the club. I like having one-handed stuff at the moment. Take some gold. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Grand. Absolutely grand. So yeah, I mean, thank you to Demone. As always, resident expert of Elder Scrolls and everything else like that. Uh, for sort of saying to be interested in, in kind of watching a playthrough of this, because it's... I mean, I was going to play it at some point eventually, but it kind of pushed me to move into it quicker than I was kind of planning. I was hoping to get maybe another six months of Skyrim before going into it, but that, yeah, like I said, the, the, the Creation Club Skyrim stuff, the Saints and Seducers stuff, I don't know, it just, it just called me back. Called me back to the game. So now we get to enjoy this. Do let me know as well in the comments. Let me know. Always like hearing, hearing from you all. But do let me know if the music is a decent volume, if the sound effects are a decent volume. I know there is a few issues with talking directly to a person as opposed to like having them talk in the background. When they talk in the background, it's about, about right. But when they're talking to us in person, it's a bit over, overkill. It can be a little bit loud depending on the voice actor. Right. In a way, this will be a very interesting comparison to Skyrim now, because I've never played the game simultaneously, to see, I guess, how far it came from Oblivion to Skyrim, and also the similarities and, and what might change in the future when we go into Elder Scrolls Six, right? Right. Alchemy is a new kettle of fish as well, isn't it? I can't really remember how it works. I think you've got to get like the mortar and pestle and then like alchemy, other alchemy things. Like, I want to say an alembic. 
could be wrong on that. Silver goblet, don't really care for that. Take the healing potions though. Yeah, I'm kind of gutted because like, the first three or four attempts that I made on this have been with the highest difficulty. And yeah, you're very squishy, very squishy early on. And everything else will one shot you. So it was something that I kind of undernawed about because I would have liked to have done full on max difficulty, but we might, like I said, we're planning on moving it up as we move further into the game. As we level up, it should become much better for us to actually move the difficulty up as we level up, rather than start at the highest difficulty and it it, it made Skyrim's difficulty curve in legendary mode look like a absolute cakewalk. It really did. You know, the fact that a goblin shaman could like just one shot me and, and there's one to fight, like just in the tutorial alone. It was, it was, it was, it was not great. <laughs> it was very difficult. Right. So we've got our little indicator here. I do like. Ooh. Oh, you did see me. So you see, it's still a bit of a battle, isn't it? It's not. It's not that easy. I think it's good for the level that we're at. Right, let's see if we can get as many of these as we can. Because it's always good to have ingredients, as we've learned from Skyrim, to make potions. And, uh, yeah, just level up stuff in the background. So we've got our first thing, the Novice Mortion Pestle. Can you get the... you can get, like, Expert and Master as well, can't you? I think. I think that's correct. I could be wrong on that. Now you can get alambics and things to get other effects from the potions. Or maybe that's what you get from the expert stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's it, it's all it all feels very new to me, despite me having a long time playing this under my belt. Right. You know, let's drop a save, because we haven't got I don't believe we've got quick save, have we? Oh, we do have quick save. Oh, that's a game changer. Ooh. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I didn't know about that. Huh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, that worked out better than expected, didn't it? Even the combat music didn't know what to do with that. There we go. Cool. What's he got? Fur shield. Now, if I remember rightly, these hurt you even though they're down, right? No. Oh. So it's not like Skyrim. Or maybe I'm just not pushing it hard enough. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. That's nothing to worry about. We've got a chest over here. A bit of gold. There we go. Yeah, first episode, focused on getting through the dungeon and the tutorial. And then we're off into the open world. And it the series is kind of a bit more open to where you guys want to go. If you want to head to the Shivering Isles first, let me know. I kind of like to keep that a little later, just so the items that we get don't drop off in the late game. Because some of the items that you get there are just so much fun. I feel like it'd be a shame to... Oop, stuck. It'd be a shame to have them drop off early in the game. Okay, we've got Iron Mace. Acrobatics and Athletics are back. Yes, fantastic. We can run, we can jump, level that up, and eventually just vault our way over traps around the... Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh, that's right, you can't... Ah, right, yes. When you're over encumbered in this, are we... There we go, right. Took a wee while to load there. Let's drop off our club. We'll actually activate... Oops, drop the club off. 
take the mace and we'll equip that now. I'm not attacking. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm hoping as well the the patches and script, uh, script extender that we've had will address some of the, the many, many issues that Oblivion had and still has to this day. Right, we've got our shield, perfect. There we go, cool. Fingers crossed. Let's drop a new save. I want to have a couple of saves going just in case anything breaks along the way. I've learned my lesson from Skyrim. I've learned my lesson. Right. How are we getting on? We've got a goblin over there. We've got the shaman over there as well. Some rattos down below. But hopefully they're not going to be an issue. Right. Whoop. Yeah, playing this, this this guy on hardest difficulty, nightmare, absolute nightmare fuel. Because he's got a lot of health and he still does. Let's have a bit of a heal. But yeah, well, he's still a challenge. I like he's easy. There we go. I think we're at a decent level for now, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Kill the peace-loving rats, why not? Short iron, short sword, we don't need that. We'll take the ruby though. Anything else? Oh, the staff, of course, the goblin shaman staff. Oh, crap. Right, rat, you can have. What can you have? There's a little bit of... Ah, right, okay, there we go. Let's give you the iron dagger. And we'll give you the War Axe too. Cool. Okay. Always looking good here. Let's get out of this. See what else we can kind of collect from here, right? Based on the test playthroughs, I just ran through places. I didn't actually spend much time playing the game. There's our first repair hammer. Ooh, we haven't got any magicka, that's fine. Right, what have we got here? Ale. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Crate. Rat meat. Ugh. No, no, no thanks. I'm good. <laughs> I don't, yeah, don't don't like the idea of eating rat meat. Right, anything else in here? No, we've got the chest there. Let's have a look in here. Sapphire, topaz, gold, gold nugget. Another repair hammer, silver vase. Eh, don't need that. Let's use the the hammers, right? Where would they be? Misc? There we go, misc. I'm thinking we go with a repair on that, repair on that. And that's all of our hammers? Yeah. I always forget that the hammers break too, so you've got to kind of carry a bunch on you. That was the other issue that I did notice when we were playing on Hardest Difficulty. You needed repair hammers all the time. Just non-stop. Every battle, you'd have a battle with a rat and you'd need a repair hammer to repair your equipment. Does the damage drop off as the durability goes down? I can't remember. But either way, it, it was causing problems. Right. Imperial Subterrain. How do you do no, What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need here to get the out of here. I always love the Mythic Dawn's armor that they conjure. I don't think there's a way for us to get that, is there? No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. As you wish. They cannot understand why I trust you. 
They've not seen what I've seen. I forget that it How freezes time explain? when you're talking to people too. <laughs> Listen, you know the nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Do I? I'm not on good terms with the gods. I've served the nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. It seems like a horrible way the to live. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Ah, so this is kind of like the uh, standing stones, isn't it? Magicka, but weak to magic. Ten points to willpower and endurance. Eh. Fifty points to your magic is pretty good early on. Ten point bonus to agility, speed, and luck. Also very good to have early on because luck is something fantastic to have. Kind of like Fallout, I guess. Because I don't think luck's an attribute in Skyrim, is it? Atronach can absorb magicka. Eh. I don't know if I like that though. Like 50% spell absorption, great, but mm, you're gonna take magic damage for that, and I don't really enjoy that so much. Generate health, not so much. Lover, nah. Ritual, nah. Poison, shadow, invisible. I don't really want to play invisible. That's how I played like when the game first came out. Obviously, chameleon was like the big thing, so. In the early days of the internet, Grandpa's telling a story now. <laughs> Back in the mid-2000s, I didn't really spend much time on the internet. And Chameleon, I'm like, wow, this means I can play the game at any difficulty and, and just easily win because no one can ever see me. But that kind of defeats the purpose of the game. You know, I see that now, being a bit older and wiser and greyer. But at the time, I thought it was, I thought it was hot shit, basically. <laughs> right, Steed. Bonus 20 to speed. I mean, that's kind of fun. Just be, like, fucking speedy man. That could be good. Teraki, meh. Moria, meh. Honestly, I feel like the mage might be the way we go. Just because the extra magic is great for healing and stuff like that, rather than spamming potions early on. So we'll go with that. We'll go with the mage. Boop. Yep, I was born under the sign of the mage. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death... A necessary end will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the mage shall light your way on the paths of glory. Ooh. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. Are you? It to does face mean... my apportioned fate, then fall. But wouldn't you want to like die peacefully in your bed, not be stabbed by shadow assassins in a sewer? Is that in my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. All right, fair enough. Well, where are we going? I go to my grave. Wow, you a are just a buzzkill. And all the music Jesus. calls me. <laughs> you shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. All right. I keep missing the persuade well screen. Oh, Jesus. Here. Carry this torch and stick close. N no? <laughs> the blades? We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. And you real second? My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Cool bananas. Bye. Right. Stick close. Let Let's have a look at this corpse over here. No potions. All right. We checked this guy, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Ooh, hidden chest. 
Take them. Let's get some more health. I do like the the HUD. It just I don't know having the compass right up there as well that points towards your objective. It seems like such a minor. Oh jeez, these, oh, these guys are tough. Oh, blades, help! <laughs> I'm not combat focused. Okay, phew. Right. <laughs> I'm glad they're competent. <laughs> I'm not. Right. Anything else here? Did we check in here? Oh jeez. Um. Oh, he's coming. You thought we go down easy? Visitor, oh, they were supposed to be coming this way, were they? There we go. Right. Cool. See, I'm helping. I'm, I'm being a distraction, bringing them over to you. I know my place. <laughs> just, just a scummy prisoner. <laughs> just <laughs> come on, let's go. Can we get up there? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe we can, but I just suck at jumping. I don't know. Oh, jeez! Yes, take him! Oh, God. Yeah. They're, they're, they're great. I like the blades. I'll live the blades. I'll just run around and loot stuff. What's this? Sanctum? That's all looking good. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. Are we there? Yep, yeah, we're there. Cool. The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. I mean, it's amazing to sort of see how far the games have come. As I've said before, I haven't played Morrowind. I've seen a friend play Morrowind, but not like all the way through. It was just every now and then I'd, you know, again, back back in my day, back before internet, we went round each other's houses and watched people play games. None of this fancy YouTube stuff. But yeah, we I used to... Oh jeez. Okay, he's going to talk to me in a second, isn't he? If I remember rightly. Or not. I can go oh, no go. further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Sure thing, Patrick Take the Stewart. Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find mm. him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Yeah, as I was. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Blades! Blades! <laughs> Where's my potions? <laughs> Give me some potions of healing. Yeah, as you can see, can you imagine this? Imagine this in... Oh, he's run off. Can we do a bit of looting? No, we can't. Right. As I was saying, the... <laughs> Back in the day, we didn't, I didn't play Morrowind. I, I haven't played Morrowind. But I'd be interested to, again, bringing this up, because I will be doing a series on it eventually, to see the differences between Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim and Oblivion. So, in a way, even though I'm playing in, in the wrong order, by playing Skyrim first and then now Oblivion and then eventually Morrowind, I do think it's going to give me a, a neat little perspective on just kind of seeing what's changed over the years, where things have come from, uh, and kind of like what things that they've lost out on, because sometimes you get stuck in this nostalgia for the old games, if you you know you start with Morrowind and you get really into that one, going to Oblivion, there might be things that you 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 miss from Morrowind that didn't get brought across, and I'm going to be seeing them from a fresh perspective, without any sort of biases. 
I might look at those things that people love and go, this is somewhat I don't like. You failed. I failed. It'd be interesting to find out anyway. The blades are sworn to it's not the usual the way of going about things. And all his heirs are that's, dead. That's kind of how I roll. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Oh, he gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon <laughs> blood fool. that flows through he's the He's a fool and now he's seven. dead. <laughs> they see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon Crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. Does that mean he the last Dragon Lord could wear reason. it? Did he say why? Would Steve Rogers be able to wear it? Would he be worthy of wearing it? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? He, there is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Alright, well, how do I get that? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here. You'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Cool, in the sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced scout. Am I right? What? Oh, this is the major skill bit. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh, do we want to make a custom class? Let's make a custom class, because we want to reduce our ability to... Yeah, custom class. There we go. Why? So I want to... Specific specialization specialized skills get plus ten and increase faster. Let's do magic because it means we can kind of limit our skills going up. Because we're gonna be basically mainly combat, I think. Let's do magic. So that's my special specialization. Choose two favorite attributes. I'm going to instantly put one in luck. And I'm going to put one in speed. I do like being able to move fast. Okay, right. Major skills. So let's go with stuff I'm not going to be using too much. Alteration. Uh, let's go with... Conjuration. Destruction hand to hand. Illusion could be good. Mysticism. And. Speechcraft, we don't have to use because it's not like Skyrim where it goes up passively just through talking. You've got to do the weird little wheel where people grimace and smile at you and stuff. So I think we'll go Speechcraft too. Yes. Enter a name for your custom class. Well, I mean, we're doing a YouTube series. The character's called Like and Subscribe. So my custom class has got to be YouTuber, right? Create the YouTuber class. Yes, we will create the YouTuber class. Perfect. We're going to be a YouTuber. Are you sure you want to be a YouTuber? You know, Bethesda, some days I ask myself the same thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. Really? I've got to ask that, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it always feels like I planned that out, but I didn't. <laughs> After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Yep, heard loud and clear. I'm going to come out of here and dick around, dick around for a the while. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Sure. What about you? What will I'll you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. Oh, yeah, By the way, can... thanks for recovering Captain Renault's oh. sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't realize I was going to do... Oh, no. I know what's going to happen now. In my testing, I never got this far. We're going to get like a million quest like markers for the DLC and stuff, right? Oh no, just one. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, there we go, there's another. 
Anything else? We're just gonna get two. Okay, that that's not too bad. I was expecting a lot more. Let's take that right. Okay. Out we go. Down into the sewers. Let's get out into the lovely world of Cyrodiil. The lovely region of Cyrodiil. And then we can call it... Oh, God. Here we go. There, there we go. Yep, here, <laughs> here comes the spam. Yep, keep it coming. Ugh. Is that all? Ah, alright, that's not too bad. Little stuff over here. Let's see what we can grab. Cheese wheels. Taking them. Iron arrows, lock picks, all good stuff. Battered crates, flour. I actually forgot flowers in the game. Ooh, the water does not look good. I had to turn down a bunch of settings because, like I said, it was causing a lot of issues lag wise, and I wasn't sure if it was something I could resolve with graphics alone or if it was something I need to do other things with. Although this is the sewer water, it might be different when we get out into the main game. As we go along with the series, I'm going to work at improving things. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oops. I'm going to work on kind of improving the game, hoping that we can kind of avoid stuttering when we're recording. That's the main thing I'm trying to avoid. There we go, nice. Oh, garlic. Rat meat and a little chest. And now it's not picks. Cool, cool, cool. All good stuff. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to basically get it running as smoothly as possible while still rendering and looking pretty. I did have it looking very pretty at one point, but... Oh, gold. Yeah, it caused a, a couple of issues. Just a few. Not not a huge amount, but enough that it was a problem. Let's just get over here if we can. Is there anything to loot over here? Anything in the barrel? No, nothing in the barrel. There we go. More healing. Did we use restoration as a, one of our major skills? I can't remember. Maybe. Right, what do we got? Gate. Cool. And I think this is the end of the... Oh, hello. Activate gate. Gate is sealed. Is that DLC stuff? I don't remember that. Huh. Alright, well, maybe we'll come back to that. I'm not sure. Let's get out of here. Do I want to edit my race, my birth sign, or my class? No, we are good. Finished. Exit sewers. Ah, so armor... Uh, expert armorers can repair stuff over 100%, which is good. Now, here comes the spam. Right? I remember this on Xbox, but there's been lots of spam. Yep, there we go. There's more out of the tutorial. Great. Can we loot butterflies and stuff? No, it's not like Skyrim. Dang it. I was like picking stuff. Right. Well, I think this is where we will call it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying being back in Cyrodiil. Kind of properly, instead of like the Beyond Skyrim mod, although I do love that mod. I'll have to check out Broomer at some point as well. Now we are going to kind of keep similar rules for uh, fast traveling if we get the map up. That's how do, where is the map? Where's the map? There we go. Right. So the map we can fast travel. However, if it's an undiscovered location. I want to walk though. I don't want to be just fast traveling closest location. I want to walk from places. What we will do is we will not fast travel to the cities, which are already unlocked. The first time we ever do that, we will walk. And then from then on, we will fast travel in the same way that we use the carriages in Skyrim. We won't fast travel to a location that we've already been to, but we will fast travel between 
maybe district, like, I think like Imperial District, like if you're going to fast travel from Coral to the Imperial District, you can choose where you want to go, you don't have to go to the stables. But yeah, we're not going to be fast traveling to the cities until we've walked there first. And we are not going to like go straight to like things like Frostcrag Spire and stuff like that. We've got to walk there. We've, we've got to actually do the, do the hard work, do the slog. We haven't got survival mode. We, we still want to make it an interesting challenge rather than just hopping place to place. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, make sure you do as uh, our character has suggested with their name, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Is it pond scum? <laughs>